Hello, in today's episode we are here in Doors Hall Nature Reserve in North Essex, right on the bank of the River Stour, which is just over there, and I'm right here next to Losh House Brook, which is a small tributary that flows into the river a little bit down there. And today we're going to be looking for banded demoiselles. Now it's mid-March, so there's not going to be any adults flying around, obviously, but there are nymphs in that stream. The nymphs of banded demoiselles like flowing water. Occasionally they can be found in ponds, but not very often, and they like streams and rivers that are slower flowing with a siltier, muddier bottom to them rather than the faster flowing, more stony bottom streams that you'll find beautiful demoiselles in. So let's go have a look and see what we can find. Now, when it comes for looking for invertebrates in a stream, it's slightly different to a pond because you use a sampling method called kick sampling. And I'll show you that to you now. First of all, fill up the tray. And now I've got the tray ready, I stick the net downstream of me, right in the water, so it's touching the bottom, and I literally just scrape my feet and kick up the bottom. And as I scrape my feet, any creatures in the sediment or under the stones will instinctively let go and get flushed downstream by the current and end up in the net, like so. And it's simply a matter of putting the creatures in your tray. Not much in that one, so I'm going to go and see if I can find some more. Now, I don't think there's any banded demoiselle nymphs in here, but there are a few nice finds, so let's have a closer look. In terms of finds in here, we have some sort of worm, which is either a terrestrial species that's fallen in, as in it's come out of the soil in the rain, or it could be one of the aquatic species, but I'm afraid I lack the knowledge on these. Perhaps the best find is this, a bullhead or a miller's thumb. It's got a few other names as well. It's a fabulous little beastie. I won't keep it in the tray too long. Don't want to stress it out. Um, and there's also some of these. Lots of these little, look like bits of twig, but they keep crawling around, so they're caddisfly larva. Little silk tubes with a larva inside and they stick twigs and whatever, you can just see the head poking out there. Rather excellent things. But I'm not seeing any banded demoiselles, so I think I'm going to move on to the next area. I've now come a couple hundred metres upstream and there's a lot more vegetation around here, both around and in the stream. So I'm hoping the bad demoiselle nymphs will favour this habitat. I have often found this to be the case, so let's have a look and see what we can find. Well, I've had a good route around down there, so let's see what we found. It's starting to get dark now, so I'm going to just crack on. I keep having plane after plane flying over, so... Uh, yeah, apologise if you can hear plane noise in the background. Got some swimming mayfly nymphs right here. And we've got a water louse and another mayfly. So water louse look like a wood louse because they are related. It's looking quite hopeful. Oh, 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 oh! <gasps> got one first species on the list of the Dragonfly Tour is Banded Demoiselle. Fantastic. Now, I suppose theoretically this could be a beautiful Demoiselle because I haven't taken it out and checked the bumps behind the head to see if it is a beautiful or banded, which is how we distinguish the two. So I think just to be sure, I might take this with me and of course I'll bring it back in a day or two when I'm next back here. Fantastic. And I think we'll go to the pond man shed and have a closer look at the nymph right now and I'll show you how to tell it apart from the others. I've placed the nymph in an aquarium here so we can get a better look. Demoiselle nymphs are pretty distinctive. They have an almost stick insect like appearance with long stripy legs and they're greater in length than other species of damselfly too. And when you look at the head it's a bit more angular and pointy than other species 
with these long horn-like antennae. So I'm sure this is one of the two species of demoiselle found in the UK. Now, as for which species, the beautiful demoiselle has two little pointy horns behind its eyes called occipital teeth. But in the banded demoiselle, these are much smaller and much more rounded, as you can see here. Another sign that this is a banded demoiselle is the cordial lamellae, which have two pale bands on them compared to the one that is usually found in the beautiful demoiselle. So I can definitely tip Banded Demozo off the list, and I can just enjoy this wonderful nymph. It's got to be one of my favourites. They're just so alien looking. The sun's going down, and the light's going with it, so I thought I'd finish there. I'll definitely want to check out the River Star on a later episode. We may go in with nets if we get time, but if not, we'll definitely be here for when the adults are here. But that's it from me for now. See you next time.